Jefferson County says finding affordable housing in Colorado is tough, even if you have help. She says many places won't take vouchers to help put her into a home, and now she's living out of her car, and she is not alone. Sean Chin has talked with her and joins us live outside of a branch of the Jefferson County Public Library. And Sean, it is tough. We're hearing about this a lot. Karen, that's right, and that search for the apartment often happens right here in the parking lot outside of the library. Tanya Williams tells us because she is living out of her car, she needs this space to park and get access to the free Wi-Fi she can get from outside of the building. Tonight, though, she is worried, saying that she's running out of time and starting to give up hope about whether she'll be able to find a home. The housing market is just ridiculous. Tanya Williams has been looking for a new home since April. Trying to escape a case of domestic abuse, she won a voucher from the Jefferson County Housing Authority in a lottery about a week after she left her last apartment. It's been hard. Uh, there's not a lot of places out there. Since then, she has tried to find an apartment that meets her budget and will accept her service dog. Do William suffers from bipolar disorder and takes a lot of medication to treat her condition. I'm tired of sleeping in my car. Uh, tired of everything. She estimates she's considered 50 different apartments. In one case, only $30 a month separated her from getting a lease. I think that property managers and property owners need to understand that people who are on Section 8 are not bad. Too often, if a place is affordable, there's a waiting list. And if there's a spot, she says landlords are reluctant to take someone with a voucher. Five months into her search, she worries if someone will ever look past the stigma that often follows people like her. They need to open up to the idea of writing to us. And Tanya also tells us that she has looked at shelters for temporary housing, but they are also full. That's why she feels that in this housing market, someone with a voucher needs more than that initial three months to find a permanent home. Live tonight in Lakewood, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first. Thank you, Sean. Tell you right.